All right, y'all, so we got a small head of cauliflower. Let's just go ahead and get it out of the package. Just like so. Let's pull these green leaves off. I'm gonna wait. I'll just stick them back in the back here. Let's just peel off. Let's go ahead and and get in with our knife. About halfway and just break it off. Okay. Put it in about halfway and twist. Because I don't want to break up the florets. So you see the florets are still connected. That's what I want. Okay, set it like this. Now I want about um, half inch thick slices. So let's start here. I'm in about a half an inch or so. About half an inch. About half an inch. You can go as thick or as thin as you like. Now that one I'm just gonna leave alone. And there's our steaks. Okay, so now I got them sliced. I'm just going to stick them in a pan. Try to be careful. And you say, why are you putting them in a pan? Let me show you why. So I have a little bit of canola, spray canola oil, just give it a light, just a light, a little spritz. And I'm going to come back with a little bit of salt, Himalayan pink salt, uh, kosher salt, sea salt, whatever you want. World your oyster my friend, use what you want. Black pepper. This is just table grind. Nothing fancy. You can use a fajita seasoning, a Cajun seasoning, whatever. You know, a barbecue rub. Whatever you like, use it. Now I'm going to flip. I'm going to be careful because I don't want the florets to break off. Like this one here broke apart. But we're, we're still going to cook it up anyway. Same thing. Light spray of oil. Salt. Black pepper. And we'll just wait until the grill heats up and then we'll get on with it. Alright, so you see we're at about uh, just under 350. We're about 345 at the dome. Let's take this off. We got good clean smoke. We are sitting about three and a quarter right there. So we're going to take our pan. We're going to just lightly lay these down. Gently so they don't fall apart. pieces we're going to throw on and get those if they fall down they fall down whatever 
because those are going to be what we like to call pit master privilege. All right. Okay, so it's been about 12 minutes. Let's take a look. They're looking good. They're looking real good. So, what we're looking at is they're getting a little soft. They're getting some great color. So let's go ahead and flip them over. They, the smaller ones are going to fall apart, and that's okay. We want to flip them over. Get that nice little grill color. Mm. See that smoke? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got the dogs in the neighborhood all going crazy. Oh, that fell off. It's okay. It happens. Oh. Hmm. Man. Now, on some of them, I'm going to add a little bit of Duke's Hickory Moonshine sauce. Just a little bit. We'll just go with barbecue cauliflower. Now we'll do it to all of them. Take a little brush, dab it on there. Try to be careful. Very careful cooking. I'm going to go thin. I don't want to go too too heavy. I just want it to accent. Let's just give that a few more minutes. Alright y'all, so it's only been a couple more minutes. Let's see where we're at. I'm going to tell you the piece that I had a little bit ago was great. Looks good. Still a little, a little hard there, but it's tender. You get it as tender as you want. You know, I want mine um, to have a little bit of bite to it. Uh, because, like, this is going to be kind of like a steak. And these are going to be like little barbecue bites. Little nibblers. Mm. Mm. So, with that, I'm going to pull those off. So, we'll just slide our cutting board over here. Try to be careful. Underneath there. Okay, so let's dress our plate. You know, we have our salt, pepper. <clears throat> little something to drink we have that uh, Duke's Hickory moonshine now I have a couple pieces here lay that cauliflower steak up there that's a naked one we're gonna go with a uh, barbecue one grilled cauliflower look at that looks pretty good let's take a bite of the uh, barbecue one Cuts with a fork. All right, y'all. So let's give this a taste test. This is the uh, barbecue one. Hmm. I don't know if you can hear the crunch because I didn't cook it all the way through to where it was mushy. I wanted a little texture in it because I wanted it to have a little, have a bite to it. You know, I mean, this is, man, this is really good. I could see this is a burger. And that sauce, that uh, this uh, Duke's Hickory Moonshine, it's got a real good flavor. I could actually go a little heavier, um, but as like a setting it up as a nice little glaze, that was that's really good. I really like that. Um, I got that at my local grocery store, so you know y'all check there, see if you can find it. Hmm. All right, let's, so let's try a naked piece. Now, the naked piece, it is just salt, pepper, canola oil. 
うんうん。That is like a kicked up cauliflower. I mean, you got that, you got a real good cauliflower taste. Uh, wow. I mean, it just makes it very vibrant. And the salt and the pepper, man, I give that a thumbs up. So, if you're in the mood for something different, it's your next barbecue. Mmm. You gotta try that out. And that's all I got this week. Man, you gotta try this out. That's pretty good. Grilled vegetables, grilled cauliflower with a little barbecue sauce. You know, take it anywhere you want it. Put whatever kind of seasonings you want on it, put any kind of sauce you want on it, whatever. Just get out there and try it. And I'm telling you, you can cook it to any doneness you want to where it's got a bite like what I got, what I wanted, or you can take it even farther to where it's mush. It's your call. World's your oyster. Do what you want with it. Just remember, there's only two rules in cooking. Did you have fun? Did it taste good? Rock on. You guys are awesome. Cheers, everyone. Have a great week.